Okay, welcome everyone to some more Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Man, we've actually started this character today. Like, this is actually pretty insane. Um, we finished most of the stuff already. We can just go into vaults now, I think. That's where we're supposed to be up to, right? Yeah, we got our two rooms already. This character's pretty strong. At least decently so. <clears throat> now it's just a matter of getting the defenses and such up. And, uh, yeah, trying to get as much as I can. So as you can see here, these ugly things will help to protect me. Um, I do have some MR because of that hat of magic resistance, which is nice. Um, I pretty much got every single slot filled, which is good. 19, uh, yeah, 19 AC now. 20 evade, 15 shield. That's pretty decent for a, for a troll. Um, similarly to the, uh, oh god. A little bit similarly to, uh, I suppose you could say, like Centaur, the troll has kind of bad defenses, um, which is made up for good offense. But you know, you can. There's always ways to get around it, I guess. All right, just tabbing through right now. I want to get some food here. All right, cool. I don't know. There's not much to say. I'm just kind of getting the hiccups right now. I'm trying to avoid it. <clears throat> I really don't know why I eat stuff like that will fuck my throat up right before I start recording every single time. It's like, I must be trying at this point to just not do it right because it's kind of annoying. But whatever. We'll see. There doesn't seem to be too many high level enemies on this vault's floor, which is pretty good. I think that, um,. It's most likely that I'll do vaults uh, five as my third room, just because like the other ones are not that great. I mean, I could do abyss, but it would have to be pretty much solo abyss, and abyss is a lot worse now that you can't like your teleports are a lot more limited. Like I could do slime. That's actually not a bad idea either. Uh, fill my in, fill the entire room up with slime, uh, with allies, and then just fight the royal jelly like that, so we can't summon any new guys. I mean, it could work. But I do risk losing a lot of my allies to that. I'll probably do slime if I have corrosion resistance by the end of this. I haven't got it right now, but I'll have to look for it. Yeah, there's only acid dragon scales, <clears throat> which will give me corrosion resistance. I uh, probably don't need that. I guess we'll ID that. The disintegration ones. I mean, they're not very good, like honestly, but whatever. Like I said, at this stage right now, like ones are pretty much a meme. There's like nothing in there other than digging that you'd really want. Disintegration is just like a shitty version of digging as well. So it's like, eh. It's kind of sad, really. Like when digging is the only wand you want, that's pretty sad. I don't know. Hmm. It's kind of like if they removed like all the good potions and left you with like ambrosia and brilliance. You're like, okay, fine, I guess, but they're all trash, so like, why are you making me use these? <clears throat> why is why are potions even on, like, auto pickup at any point? I mean, not that Ambrosia is bad, but. Did we get a mutation? No, good. Noise. This character's moving along really fast. I like it. Vampire Knight, that's a good person or ally to have. What? We don't. Oh, did we acquire something already? What did we acquire? Oh, I think it was the plus one hat, I think. Not sure, actually. Better get rid of that flayed ghost, because it's dealing a lot of damage to me. Or it would have dealt a lot of damage to me had I not targeted it. <coughs> flayed ghost is like torment, but it's actually got counterplay with it. Uh, glass ring, this will be a silent scroll, so I don't really want it. Uh, definitely want these heal wounds potions. They're pretty expensive though, to be honest. Teleport's pretty good, I guess. I guess we'll pick up the silence and just drop it. Like, we don't really need it. Resist Corrosion. Great, that's our third room. Uh, secure, which is nice. I mean, we could do Vaults, we could do Abyss, we could do all of them, it doesn't really matter. But I think that, um, at this point, the player would be pretty fatigued with 15 rooms. But, you know, if they want to do more, they can. It's not up to me anymore. 
Like, you can do any of the runs that you want from now on to do B15 rune, but I'm not going to waste time. Uh, I've done one to symbolize it in the run, and, like, I'll assume that the average player would not play another 15 rune, because it's just kind of a waste. But, like, you know, you can do a greater player run with 15 runes, it's just a pain in the ass, and it's not really worth it most of the time. So it's like, yeah. Regen or Reflection? Uh, ooh. Regen it is, just because it's kind of fun. To have triple regen. Wait, is it triple regen? Yeah, because of the cloak. We'll be regening like crazy. I still think regen's the best amulet. Um, I just think that reflection's also pretty good. But ref like reflection and um, regeneration are pretty much like top of the list. Everything else is kind of garbage. I mean, some people say that spirit shield is okay, but I'm like, eh, whatever. It's not that good. Uh, just everything in here is good. I'm gonna pick it all up. We have no money left, holy shit. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna back off here just because those guys are just real pricks. Uh, gonna go eat some food. Eat the things with um, the little food so that I can save slots. Got marked, it's not a big deal. I'll just stand near the upstairs while I fight stuff. At this point, like with this, with a floor this decently cleared, uh, it should be alright. I f I'm getting surrounded pretty he heavy though, so I'm gonna go ahead and recall my allies. This is gonna create a huge wall of stuff to like protect me. Great. I'm gonna pull away. I'm gonna bring all my guys up this staircase. It's fine. And I'll tell them to wait off on the sidelines. I think invocations is probably good enough now. I'm gonna turn some shields on. Oh, sorry. Some dodging on. And I'm gonna just focus the unarmed combat. Unarmed combat's really good. Protection from fire is decent, um, even if it is cursed. I'm actually going to get rid of it now. Uh, I'm actually going to wear it. Uh, yeah, okay, to evade is not that important. Not important enough that... I would I would probably think that the uh, evade is not as important as RF. Like, obviously, it's not consistently better, but... The Obsidian Axe, what? So apparently, like the treasure troves are awesome for unrandots now, which is really stupid because that's RNG as shit. Okay, like you can't even like control that. I don't understand how that works. I mean, I guess that was that's really weird. All right, anyway, continue on. So we're gonna look for a. Oh wait, no, we have a slot sold to enslave, right? I think we do. We have Bicer's End, right? True. Uh, interesting. Another Vampire Knight, that's not bad, I guess. I guess Vampire Knights are about as good as you're going to get in terms of, like, gifts after you, uh, after you've, like, completed all your stuff. Uh, like, your generals. After you've got the max. Like, I'm pretty sure Vampire Knights are, like, the best you'll get. Let's actually check if Vice like, Suzanne is still alive. I don't remember seeing her. When did she die? I have no idea what this is. Uh, oh, your allied biases then died in Snake 4, okay. Alright, fair enough. Alright, then I'll just go look for another one then. I'm um, not really sure which one I want, but you know, it could be useful either way. I'm going to look for uh, a caster of sorts, one with good support abilities. Um, but yeah, not anything really too... Not anything too amazing, I guess. I wonder if I could get this at him. Nah, that's probably not worth it anyway. Well, he died, so it doesn't matter, but nah, probably not necessary. I'm looking for something like pretty damn strong, like a uh, draconian, like dragon caller or whatever it's called, is pretty damn good. Uh, I've had it once and it almost won me the game by itself. Like it was surprisingly strong just because of the value. I think it was actually on this channel. Uh, where the hell is this thing? Well, it's gone. That's cool, I guess. Let's go get some more decks. I think strength can, doesn't need to be leveled up at all. It's not a big deal. Okay, we are getting flayed. For some reason, we could not kill that flayed ghost. That was really weird. Like, probably because of those double uh, preservers. But, yeah. I was not expecting to take that much damage and not be able to do that much. Alright, get some allies. Looks like our flayed ghost died at some point. That's no big deal. 
like I said, I can't be bothered keeping those guys alive. They're really stupid. Like, they don't play like casters at all. They just play like complete idiots. And that makes it really hard for us to keep them alive. So I'm not going to stress. Your red will eventually give me more anyway. Besides, they're not really like the main damage in our, our team anyway. Like, So it's not a big deal. Hmm. None of these so far have shown me any interesting allies to try to poach, but I guess that's fine. These guys are like not amazing. Oh god. Let's bring our enemies here and then drain life. That healed actually a lot. Wow. Surprisingly good. Not bad. Uh, pull them back upstairs I guess. Tell them to wait over here. And then we'll just have a couple of guys over here. I mean, this floor is pretty much done already, so it doesn't really matter. You know, actually, silence could be pretty good. Eh, nah. We'll enchant this reflection shield for a bit. I guess we did pick it up. Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Don't need enchant weapon scrolls. I think we'll actually turn that off auto pick up now. Seems kind of unnecessary. Alright, let's go to elf. Oh, sorry, depths. So pretty much clear the third room now, we just gotta go to slime eventually. We'll go to elf, uh, why do I keep saying elf? Depths first. We'll see how this goes. If that's a plus six reflection, I'll actually take it over the regen. I think with three regen it's not necessary. It's only plus two, which is worse than the plus three we had. So, nah, no need. Alright, so we got one profane servitor with us. Um, this is kinda scary, I'm gonna go ahead and bring some bone dragon allies. Uh, noting that they can be LRD, so that's kinda scary. Alright, so I'm gonna bring them back. Oh my god, fuck my life. I'm gonna bring them all over here, recall them all, tell them to piss off. I'm a very kind boss. I let my I let my uh my allies or my employees, as I like to call them, uh work like in shifts. They don't have to fight all the time. They're just all casual part time, you know. They can just fuck around in the dungeon while I'm doing deaths. It's all good. Ooh, let's enslave this guy. I'm pretty sure Rakshasas have like the power to like uh, multiply your allies. I don't know if that's correct, but if it is, it's pretty cool. It looks like it does. It has Phantom Mirror. Like, hopefully it works. I, mean, I don't know if it will work, but if it does work, and it died, never mind. Well, understandable. I'd also die if I was not protected. Uh. There's a bunch of stuff here. It's all vamp, but I don't want it. It's a weapon shop anyway. Let's get this Rakshasa. Oh, it's too badly injured already. Wow. So we have to pretty much get it at like full health. That's pretty sad. I mean, I don't really want to get that many. I don't want to use Enslave Soul too much. I prefer to just like keep rolling those. Uh... Oh. That's not bad. We'll get a Frost Chant ally. That's pretty good. I mean, Frost Bolts are like nothing to sneeze at. Alright, not gonna go into that doorway. I know there's gonna be like a whole bunch of shit in there, like juggernauts and such. Uh, for sure, 100%. Because I've, act I've actually been trolled uh, by that bolt before. Like, uh, I think it was on this channel again. Like, the, the D-troll, like, shaman or earth elemental was just friggin' like, broke the door. Opened absolute hell on my ass. Ooh, gold dragon. Ah, oh, didn't give us a thing. Damn it. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... Wait, can I get a lich? Holy shit, can I get a lich? Oh, you can't, you can't enslave that soul. Okay, never mind. Like, you didn't tell me that it was too badly injured, it just said you can't enslave it, so I assume that means that you can't enslave it. Caustic Shrike Zombie, that's gonna be really disgusting. I'm gonna pull these guys away. Like I said, the army is not that big right now. Are oh, you red army? I want to kind of preserve it, and this Caustic Strike Zombie will pretty much rip everything on this floor to shreds, so... Whoops, we did not mean to read that. Oh, Mod of Digging. So now the only ones we have left are Flame and Polymorph. I'm actually going to turn ones off auto pick up. Like, there's no way to turn them all off, right? That's really sad. Like, I don't know, that's just... this is just stupid. TVH. Anyway, 
it kind of sucks because like you're not gonna ever be excited to find a wand ever again. Like you're never gonna be like, oh my god, it's an unknown wand. Oh, that's really cool. It's just gonna be like, oh, it's a wand. It's probably something shit. Uh, starving. God, eat all this fruit. Eat the whole thing. Eat until you're full. Wow, he's already not full again. Jesus Christ, this guy is insatiable. Alright, this is a whole bunch of spriggans, but our damage from the unarmed combat is pretty good right now. I mean, we have decent stats, given our shitty training. It's not bad. Look at that. Ripping him in pot. I still haven't really made up my mind on, as to whether, like, reflection is better than uh, regeneration, but we already have a reflection, so it's like, eh. That's the main reason why I decided to go regen. But we do have two pits of regen anyway, so it's kind of like, kind of personal preference. Is that a lich? Hmm. Maybe we should have picked that up. Maybe we should try to pick up these, like, like, uh, wizards or something. I don't know. Is it worth it? It can banish stuff, but that's about it, really. Like, that's all it does. It's probably not worth it. I think, at least. So the thing about Enslaved Soul you got to remember is that you actually have a fairly strict time limit to kill it. It's actually not very easy. Some of the tankier stuff will actually be on a... You can't actually get it because you won't kill it in time. It's pretty weird. I'm just going to go ahead and eat all the corpses. Yum. Explore the rest of this floor. God, what is this? I'm pelted by shit. Um, there's a book there, it's not useful. I gotta pay attention to like what's in these like little alcoves. Cause I might want to dig one of them out at some point. God damn it. Uh, do we have any curing left? Yeah, we have 14. Okay, cool. I vaguely remember one of the games we had very low curing. I don't know if that's this one or the, another one. Hmm. Can't enslave a lich. That sucks. We might be able to enslave that thing, though. Yes, we can. Nice. It doesn't kill us first. Cool. So the debuff annihilator can do, like, iron shot and crystal spear and poison arrow. That makes it pretty decent, I guess. I mean, like, it's not amazing, but it'll do. Plus four ring evasion. Yeah, we'll put it on. Uh, get rid of that ring of evasion, I guess. Hmm. Another sack of spiders. I don't really use the sack of spiders, honestly. It's kind of just in my inventory as, me as a bit of a meme. Like, it's not really like a super serious thing. I don't know. Perhaps it's good. Perhaps it's bad. I'll use up this spider. I don't think I'll like. I'll ever need to replace it. I kind of just have that like the shits and giggles. All right. Death's fall. Let's move on. It's kind of good that we have like no real allies with us here. Oh my god, never mind. Drawing them back. Yeah, here we go. You wanna fuck with me? Alright, you can fuck with me. Let's go. Nice. Uh, let's just kill these guys real quick. I don't want to have my main army out too long, pretty much. I kind of want to have them like resting on this floor. I'd rather have just like my expendable people over here. Ooh, Twisted Evening Star. I kind of want to just see what that is. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, the base damage is... Oh, sorry, the enchantment's pretty bad, but everything else is really good. Ow. Jesus Christ. Iron Dragon's surprisingly painful. Wow, the new Dragon Tile looks alright. Is that only for Iron Dragons? Or is that for, like, every dragon? Because that looks alright. Spark Wasps. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, even if you, the the main annoying thing about them is that like even if you bring them back from the dead, they don't have any of that glorious damage that they should have. That's rightfully mine. I hope I get gold dragon armor. That'd be nice. Ooh, Zathor. He gives plus two fight. Nah, that's not actually that good. I was gonna say if he had something decent, I could actually like actually wait. If I use this, twenty one nineteen. Compared to 2021. No, that's not worth it. Okay. Surprisingly, we are better off with these uh, Swamp Dragon armor. 
I think we get the Aussie from the yeah from the cloak. So technically, we don't need Aussie. Uh, Aussie minus isn't too bad, but still, don't really want to be in that situation. Oh god, let's drain life here. Wow, that's actually a lot better healing than I remember. Perhaps it's not as bad as I thought it was. I think it might have actually been buffed, because that's a lot of healing. Let's see if it work again. That was a lot of healing. Okay, no, never mind. Remember when I said it was terrible? I was joking. It was just, just a prank. It wasn't serious. It seems like it's okay at, um, as a bit of like a... Oh, God. Please kill it. Ah, oh, damn it. I wanted that so bad. I, I really did want a, uh, what do you call it? A gold dragon armor. Damn. Pretty mad about that. Alright, just keep moving on. Okay, we're getting flayed like crazy. Thankfully, though, like, our allies are just creating this big wall of stuff they can't get through. One more gold dragon, please? Yes! One more gold dragon. Come on, give me that. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn it! What an asshole! What an actual asshole! That was a Che Vault. Huh, interesting. Alright, let's keep going. Storm Dragon. Hmm. Probably not good enough, but tempting because our elect is not really something we have. Not really something we're expected. Why do they even have Recharging Scroll anymore? What the fuck? Why do they have that in the game? What what scroll would you possibly want to. Uh, what wand would you possibly want to recharge ever in any situation? Like digging? Just find another digging, dude. Like what? Why is this in the game? Must have been must have been for something else in the game that got removed at some point. Cause like I can't see any reason for a recharging scroll to be in the game. Like, like look at the look at the shit I have in my inventory. There's nothing I want to recharge here. I just drop the wand if it runs out of charge. Whatever, man. Like yeah, recharging is not really that good anymore. It's kind of weird. All right, let's just uh, yeah. okay. So the main issue that I'm gonna have is that oh no, I'm gonna do slime. I was gonna say with vaults, there's a bit of an oh shit, I need to bring back my dudes right now. It's a lot of enemies here that are kind of scary. All right, so now that the main forces are out, we need to retreat as fast as possible. I don't want to lose any of these guys to like random shit. It's really annoying when that happens. All right, bring them all here. Tell them to wait. Go back down. Only keep the uh, only keep the derived undead. Look, it's a wonder polymorph and slash or flame. Whatever. Do not want rings. RF triple plus R poise EV plus four. That's an amazing ring. That's actually amazing. Um, both of these are actually really good. Like RF plus plus is also really good. So um, I'm gonna be looking out for if if by the time I get to Zot, I don't have as much money as I could. I might just like go and find something else because like that's a really good ring. I mean the int part is pretty scary. Oh, yeah, int minus five. That's really scary. Um, but you know that's might be worth it. Might be worth it. I'm just gonna put that on uh, EC because that's my normal eating button for speed running. I kind of like it on C. Alright, so we're done depth 5, only 23 minutes in. I guess we'll do slime. Uh, we'll put our corrosion ring on. Instead of root, uh, fire protection, because we don't really need it in there. There's nothing that deals fire damage. And we'll head over to slime. What the hell is Milky's Ghost? An adept gargoyle fighter. I'm just going to let it die in the slime. It looks kind of shit. Oh, never mind. There's a guy here. Bring my bone dragons to this place. Just to mess with everyone. Oh, you son of a bitch. He mutated me three times through that. That was that was so stupid. Like, oh my god, I'm so triggered. I have only one heal mute potion too. Fuck. This could have been this might be a worse idea than I thought it was. Oh my Fuck you! What is this shit? Come on, man. Go G Come on, man. Oh, my.
I chose this life. I chose to come in here. Fuck. I mean, like, I didn't really have a, like, had a great choice, because it was either this place or, like, vaults. And that wasn't really gonna happen. Like, it would happen, but I'd lose a significant amount. What is up with the level of Shining Eyes? They have not buffed Shining Eye numbers. Please. Team, please be a little bit more aware that that's not how slime is supposed to work. I'm just going to explore around. Looks like my allies get completely wrecked by the slime walls because they're idiots and they walk in that shit. Look at that. Dumbass. Alright, let's just try to be a bit careful of the exploration. Oh god, whatever. Alright, fuck it. If they die, they die. Whatever. These two are shit anyway. Okay, we need to kill that shining eye. Son of a bitch, man. Okay, I've never seen that vault before. Holy shit, I'm actually scared. What was that vault? Why was there glass there? What? Wait, what? I'm not going to use the scroll of magic mapping because that's ridiculous. Okay, this is actually kind of bad. I'm going to drain life here just to heal up. I'm going to stop the recall because my allies are going to start dying to the wall if they go any further out. I am I like to think of my allies as like a cloud, so once the cloud expands too far, I'm going to get hurt by the acid wall, which is not something I want. Okay, what was that? I don't... Why was it... Oh, that's really weird. It's like half clear now. That's kind of cool, but, like, you still can't break through, but, like, you can actually see what's inside now. That's pretty awesome. Alright, I need to tell these guys to wait and retreat over here. Because I don't want them anywhere near that fucking royal jelly until it's high time. Alright, you know what? I'll pull them up. Yeah, I'll pull them up here. Alright, I can tell them to guard the area. And they all just started walking towards... Okay, no, we need to pull them up. Okay, fuck, we need to leave this place because my ghouls are gonna die to the fucking acid because they're stupid as shit. Um, I'm gonna do a long range pull. So I'm gonna have to pull them out. What is this bar? What the fuck? We, we lost a dragon to fucking slime... What? Holy shit, these guys are so stupid. This is... What? Oh my god. They are actually so stupid. Okay, so apparently your red is hard counted by slime because this is so dumb. What the fuck? Alright, so... How much haste we got? We got 7 haste. That's not bad. There's the royal jelly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring him here. Right next to me. I'm going to start bringing dudes to me. He's an agility potion. Just beat him up. And hopefully his generation doesn't... Okay, yeah, see? So I mostly kept them... Oh, so the outside walls don't break. The inside walls break. Cool. Oh. Please, no. Alright, we got another bone dragon, which is nice. Alright. Okay, I'm going to tell them all to retreat to this part here. Just so they don't, like, stick to the goddamn... Okay. Pull them all out. Tell them to come back. Piss off everyone. Go take a break, eat some food. Feast on the lair, whatever. Rape and pillage. Do as you wish. I'm like a bad guy. I actually am a bad guy, because it's your head. Like... Ah, <sighs> what a pain. What an absolute pain. Ooh, what's this? MR plus in plus five. That's pretty good. I guess we'll turn armor off. Oh no, we'll turn dodging off and we'll focus on shields. Because that's actually not bad. Uh, in plus five also lets us wield that ring that we wanted to wield earlier. Uh, what's this? MP plus nine, AC plus four, strength plus three. That's actually not that great, but it's actually not bad either. Hmm. Ah, poise. Ah, poise the cloak. Lol. Nah, I'm alright. Plus four ring of evasion. Not really that necessary. We already have one, and there's also a bunch of things contesting for that exact same spot, so it's not necessary. Um, beef jerkies and stuff. That's cool, I guess. I can eat that. 
Oh, we have enough money to buy now. Great. Perfect. Let's go ahead and buy that. I don't think there was anything in there that was really that spectacular. What is hitting me? It did so much damage. <laughs> it did like 17 damage to me, even though I have like so much stuff. It's weird. Wasn't expecting that. Alright, cool. You're red. There we go. Cool. So we got. So the int plus 5 is going to be counteracted by this int plus 5, int minus 5, which is really good because now we have RF triple plus and we don't care about anything. Uh, I'm actually going to cure mute here. Just a son of a. We got rid of two good mutations. We have like 20 bad mutations. We got rid of two good ones. Like, son of a bitch. <sighs> God, I'm so, so triggered. I think the reflection might actually do that. Ah, we dropped it. No, never mind. It's not better. Just, uh, because I said so. Mm, no, actually, reflection is better. We should go for it. Stupid amulet of reflection that we dropped in slime five. Son of a bitch. What? <laughs> I'm so stupid. God damn it. Ah, uh, I was like, I was like gonna make that point, and then I immediately dropped it, like just as a reaction. All right. Let's go back to death. This is like the longest slog of the whole game. It took us like two K turns just to get for uh back and forth. All right, let's uh, read five magic mappings. That's good. We get the perfect amount of magic maps. This is also a really great vault to see on uh, Zot One because you can kind of get two downstairs for the price of one. Ooh, that's also really good. Two downstairs for the price of one again, and we can also dig our way to the upstairs, which is really nice. Gonna go through this one. <laughs> So this one is the closest to all three downstairs. Okay, I'm gonna bring my allies with me. This is too many enemies. Like I'm a bit worried. And now I'll back off. Go back down here. Go back up here. Bring them all out. I want to save all these guys for Zot, if possible. I don't want to have them. I want them to tank for me. It's not really that necessary. This character's pretty damn strong, but. At the same time, I kind of want to just have them for insurance's sake. Besides, I can bring up some allies here. Makes them slightly less important to have on me. Whoa. Surprising amount of damage. So the R let. Oh my Jesus Christ, that was not what I was expecting. That's that double torment life, you know. Once against his melee, though, we kind of just shred it. It's the nice thing about, uh, on combat, it's really strong. Like, kind of unfair how strong it is. People have said it's a little bit too strong. I mean, it's a really heavy investment, but it's incredibly powerful. Like, it's probably the best weapon possible. I don't know. It's close. Alright, let's tell them all to retreat here. And we'll just bring a couple with us. Alright, it was actually good that we brought a couple with us here, because we can, like, kind of take out these Draconians with my advanced guard, I guess. Pretty useful. Let's drain life, just to make sure we're at full health. That's good. We also get a posse of dudes to help us out. Get a magic mapping here. Uh, this looks pretty easy to clear, so I'm just going to go ahead and clear it. Okay, let's drain life. Wow, that healing is way more than I remember. Like, I'm almost certain they buffed it now. Just because, like, that is so much healing. Like, that is way more than I remember. I'm just gonna pull back a little bit. Get some more allies. It's another curse toe. Get into melee with it. Kursto is kind of, is like soft countered, I guess, by, um, by summons, because you can kind of like get away with hitting stuff. Uh, like you can walk through your own allies without the mushrooms interfering with movement. The reason why they're so annoying is because of the stupid mushrooms that like block you from moving. Come on, gold dragon armor. Nope, nothing. Oops, gold drag. Nothing. 
Okay, that sucks, but whatever. Alright, let's go down the staircase. Wow, it went straight onto a Zot Trap wall. Okay, close this area off and explore the rest, per the huge. Nothing out of the ordinary so far. I think this character is definitely strong enough to take this place on, so I'm not too worried about it. Man, this game is pretty fast. <laughs> I mean, it's not amazingly fast, but it's alright. Alright, I'm gonna have to dig a way through here, because apparently this is a dis disconnected Zot 5. I'm gonna drain life, because. God, I'm actually really digging that drain life. I think Red's getting a lot better. In my eyes. And it only cost me like 10 piety. That's pretty. Uh, 10 invocations. That's pretty cheap. For how good of a heal that was. That was actually insane. Like, I'm, I'm like. It makes me really think that, like, my. Um, my understanding. Or, like, the, the numbers have changed. Because, like. That's. I do not remember that much healing being a thing. Alright, we're going to play this pretty patiently with only one general with us. I think that uh, unarmed combat's like really strong. Like, we shouldn't have a problem actually, fuck it, we'll just get all our allies. Alright, the main issue here is that orbs of fire do fuck our entire team over because they just hit everything so hard. So we do really need to kind of be a bit careful. Ah, okay, it blew a bone dragon over. Okay, we lost our profane servitor. Yeah, this is not good. This is what I mean, like, Zot 5 is just not great um, for your undead. So we actually lost our whole army there. Mostly because uh, I assumed that there would not be much many things there. But hey, look, we got absolutely no allies. But really, like, I didn't need them, to be honest. Like, I don't think that I need them now. I'm going to have back up my whole run up because there's just going to be a whole bunch of allies on every floor. Um, I mean, it would have been nice if one of my general guys had survived, but this is fine, I guess. Okay, that's actually a lot of damage. Hmm. Perhaps this was not as easy as I expected it to be. That's my up. Just punching. I would expect this like to be a lot smoother, but it's not actually that smooth. Fog, summoning to get some allies with me. There we go. Like like I said, it's not terrible, it's just that like I did lose a lot of my army there. Which is kinda scary. Also, fun fact, if you're going Mason Flails, you can actually get your profanes killed. And then uh you can take the demon whips. It's kinda like acquiring a demon whip, but it only has a certain brand. But it's not really like you don't want to lose your profanes anyway, but I don't know. I guess if you want, you can do it. So we got one ally with us. We went from that massive army to like zero. That's why I say that your red falls off a lot stronger, uh, a lot harder in the. Oh, you son of a! Jesus Christ! I'm gonna heal here. Cause that's a lot of stuff. I'm gonna berserk. Oh, I can't berserk because I'm exhausted. Right, true. Uh, fog. Uh, heal wounds, agility, berserk, just to take it out. Like it probably wasn't un it probably wasn't necessary, but I just decided to do it so I could get out of there pretty nice and quick. Look at this character though. Defensively, he's pretty strong. Do we get shitty body? Yeah, we did. Damn it. I was like 18 AC. I don't remember that. All right, we got another vampire. That's not great. Not oh, instantly erupted. But yeah, as I said, Ured is like not amazing in the third rune because all his stuff dies really fast. It's mostly good where like the enemies are really crap, like in this two rune game and such. So we're on the odd run now. We're probably just gonna leg it, uh, kill the occasional shitty enemy. Uh, I think the downstairs we want is like over here somewhere, right? I'm gonna haste here because that lightning spire is gonna do a Lightning Golem is going to do a lot of damage. I think this was the one we wanted. Yeah. Uh, that's one. I'm going to heal up a little bit as much as we can. Troll, troll Orb Run is not too bad because you got the regen. Um, but it doesn't make it like incredibly easy either. It's not as easy as like Centaur or Spriggan. What is happening right now? Please stop. 
GDO, easy. Okay, it's just a bunch of demons spawn, they're pretty easy. <laughs> Go up, come on, depths. Come on. Did some more. Probably not worth fighting in that scenario. I'd rather just walk away. Because, ooh. This is definitely a dig scenario. Just because the upstairs are like kind of close, but separated by walls. I mean, you'd dig anyway, but I don't know. Panlord here. Can I haste up? Oh, we walked the wrong way. It's fine, we'll just walk this way then. It's all good. It's plenty of haste right now. I'm gonna keep myself in gorge just in case. Um. I kind of want to just run away from that thing. Just because it's a pain in the ass to fight. It's pretty tanky. It's probably like the. I'd say. I think it's the tankiest of all the tormentors, but that's more personal bias than really any stats. Like, I always feel like it's the tankiest, and it does the most damage, to be honest. This is an annoying enemy as well. Uh, let's start teleporting. This hellfire is kind of getting in the way. There we go. A bit better. Run away. Kill the hellbeast because it can kind of catch up to us. It has like variable speed or some shit. I don't know. All I know is that sometimes they're really fast for some reason. Oh look, our, our allies are getting shittier and shittier as we go up. It's kind of funny. Oh come on. No final boss? Nah, these aren't final boss. These are just final goons. Fuck them, we'll fight them. Yeah, what are you gonna do? I got RF triple plus, mate. You're not gonna do anything. Alright, cool. So that's a uh, casual run, Troll Monk. Probably should have split up into more videos, but hey, I just wanted to get it done. It should be quick anyway. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard. Troll Monk is pretty strong. Uh, chant gods could be Ured, Akwaru, Trog, Ured, Dithmenos, pretty good. Like, all the gods are, like, decent for him. Nemalex is also pretty good if you want to try him. Um, but yeah. Uh, very straightforward melee character. We're going to move on to Spriggan Enchanter next. Or possibly some other gimmick. I don't know. Most likely Spriggan Enchanter. But anyway. Uh, yeah, there's not much to say about this character. We, we we didn't learn too much new. It's mostly just a refresher course for our melee. Um, it also makes it kind of convenient because we just chuck in an extra combo that we had done before. It's also a very classic combo, Troll Monk. Um, so we've done Centaur Hunter, Troll Monk. And then we'll do Spring Enchanters. That's like really, really classic combos. Like just what time tested, like really, like really common combos. That's really good. Like it helps us like it helps us play a certain playstyle that other people have played. And it helps you like kind of have a discussion with people, I guess. Like because you'll be able to like say, Oh yeah, I did that before. How did you do it? And you'll get like a different set of mixed responses. I mean I, at this point, like I've pretty much done Trollmark every which way. Uh, or unarmed troll every which way, and I've done like Spring Enchanter every which way, and Centaur Hunter and so on and so forth. Like it's all being done, but for you guys that have only got like one of those wins, it's really good because you can start talking to other people about it, and they're like specific playstyles, and you can also coach people on like how to do it your way. I mean, obviously it's like you might be lacking some experience, but at least you'll have won a game of a Centaur Hunter and like a Troll Monk, so you'll know what people are talking about when they say, "Oh yeah, I'm playing a Troll Monk right now." I don't know. It's it's for me at least. I think it's a good discussion point. There's a lot of like combos that you can just talk about with people, and like troll monk and stuff. Like pretty decent beginner combos that you can like kind of move away from that really powerful like axe minotaur build or gargoyle maces and so on and so forth. And you get to like just have a bit of experience with uh, different stuff. Anyway, I've been ranting for a little too long now. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.